Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I know I said last time that I would not make another video on this subject until its conclusion, but really so much has transpired since then that I'd like to put everything into some sort of perspective, not just for you, my friends here, but also for myself. Reality can sometimes have a weird way of working for an individual. We all see things in our own light. When one lends too much attention to anything, things can start to get a little weird. The small details add up. The mind starts to connect dot after dot, and suddenly we find ourselves caught up in the middle of a web of conspiracy. Donning ten foil cap, hiding away in fear of the gang stalking, one can begin to feel constantly watched. Small coincidences can feel like holes in reality, placed there by some higher puppet master, and at any moment you could slip right through. My name is Mask. I will be your host this evening. Tonight, I'd like to go over with you some of the notes that I have gathered so far since the return of 01A51CD0, so that we can all better understand exactly what is going on here. Thank you, and you are watching. On May 1st, Mayday, 01A51CD0 returned with finally. The description reads, Shiver me timbers. Life is scarier than death flashes on the screen upside down. They are back, and we see a monkey mask, symbol of the id. That same day, the recording's YT Twitter account once ran by Lindsay was changed to redacted in all caps. On May 3rd, Zero One released Temperance. Ahoy was the description, and scattered throughout the video is the message, My brother has passed. I did not. We lost so many. There will be more. This is for you. The video then shows a face of whom we must presume to be the brother who probably wore the bunny mask as the bunny mask was destroyed by the end of Recordings 23, and the monkey's mask was shown when we were told I did not. The link to the video was also posted on the redacted Twitter account the same day. May 4th, Zero One releases Say Hello. During the video, a message flashes in binary code that reads, She will join us. The description reads, Scurvy Dog. The video seems to be of a woman in her underwear doing chores and being spied through a window. Redacted tweets, everything is fine. On May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, 01 released Detour. The description is just a link that will lead you to an Instagram page called 0DC15A10 and to a photo of a yellow chair. In the comments section of the detour video, they leave the comment, walk the plank. Redacted tweets, he came around, it's been a long journey, time to rest my tired eyes, walking the plank. And then thanks for playing eight times. There is a photo of a girl that looks like Lindsay. There is a black X over her mouth. Redacted is following a Twitter account called 01A51CD0 at 0DC15A10. That account tweets out perceptive. It is inverted. Keep in mind, the 01 tweets are upside down, where the redacted tweets are right side up. Who could he be? Anthony? And what does come around mean? Often it means to visit, 
but the phrase is also used to denote someone who finally came to an understanding of the situation at hand and is ready to comply. Could there have been a fight? Did Anthony kill many members in a scuffle only to be subdued in the end? And if so, why would they keep him and not do away with him for damaging the group so? Or is Anthony even a part of this anymore? These are questions we must ask ourselves if we are going to find out the identity of the Sovereign. On May 6th, the redacted Twitter account tweets, So many lost for the greater good, but there will be more. Then goodbye in all caps. There are eight O's in good, and there is a picture posted of six animal masks. The image was taken from the recording's wiki page, but is also a still image from Recording 16. On May 7th, Zero One first posts a picture on Instagram of a red mailbox with the caption reading, Delivered. They then released Buggy on YouTube. We are shown an image of a bear mask hanging on the wall. Dialogue from the movie Mulholland Drive is used as the background score and there is another link to an Instagram photo of a snow shovel. It has a link in its description that leads to a video on the channel Truth Beard, normally BT's main channel, but on lockdown for now because of the ARG. This video is called Digging a Hole, and we see a man starting to dig a hole with the same shovel from the Instagram account until we hear what sounds like wood being struck. There is no further description in this video, but in the comments section of Buggy, there is posted the phrase Avast, which means hold fast. Something to be said about Mulholland Drive is that Mulholland means chief of the Kalends, which is where we get the word calendar from. Could they be releasing important information on specific holidays? Or is this mere coincidence? Perhaps the answers are in the finer details. The only problem with looking into the finer details is there is always a possibility of misreading the narrative and looking at things that are just coincidences. And then there is plain overreaching. Let's move on. On May 8th, Redacted posted a ping image of a cartoon pirate ship with a skull and crossbones on its sails, which was flown when a pirate ship was about to attack. The Jolly Roger, as it is known, is also thought to be an antonym for Old Roger, a nickname for the devil. This sounds like some sort of attack was being planned. Could Redacted and the 01A51CD0 Twitter account be ran by two separate entities at odds with each other? On May 10th, the Instagram account posts a black and white photo of a toothless child holding a stuffed dog by the leash. The caption reads 51219, which would be a hint to when they would post their next clue, May 12th, Mother's Day. And sure enough, on May 12th, Mother's Day, a bomb is dropped on us as Upright is loaded to the 01A51CD0 channel with the description, Jolly Roger. The video's message reads, I come to you as a friend. Don't let them win. They will end us. It shows the girl from the redacted tweet with the X over her mouth. Then the message continues. We are puppets. They are killing you. They are fooling you. Then there is a link to an imager photo, which in turn was posted later on the Instagram account. This is a photo of the backseat ghost. The photo was taken by Mrs. Mabel Chinnery after visiting her mother's gravesite. She claims that the shadowy figure in the back seat behind her husband only appeared after the photo was developed, and that it was her mother's ghost. On the bottom left hand corner of this photo is a code. When you replace V equals with the typical YouTube prefix, you will be directed to a hidden video. This video is called Anti Up. Again, we see a woman being watched this time through window blinds, from the outside. 
She may be packing clothes, I am not sure, but we can see bed railings at the beginning, so we know she is in a bedroom. Hidden in this video are two messages written in binary. Place your bets, and will she survive? In the description is the phrase, Hempen Halter, which means hangman's noose. And below in the comments section, they left, good job. Congratulating the audience for finding the hidden video. My only issue here, as like many, I really wanted to know how to place my bet. Apparently, they were planning some sort of initiation with a 50-50 chance of survival. I would wager that for story purpose, she would survive. When we go back to where we left off in the upright video, the next thing we see is an old picture of a little girl in a bed with a demon standing over her. Stay upright is the next message shown, and next we see the tombstone of Marjorie McCall, the Lady with the Ring. In 1705, McCall of Lurgan, Ireland was accidentally buried alive when she was thought to have died by an illness. Plague was rampant at the time, and bodies were hurriedly buried. Back then, grave robbery was common practice, as surgeons paid high price for fresh cadavers, and this, paradoxically, is what saved her life. Robbers thought that they had found a bonus when they saw the golden ring she was buried with, because her family couldn't remove it beforehand from her swollen finger. Upon the initial slice, she woke up with a shriek, possibly causing the thieves to defecate themselves. The story is still told to this day in the area. Holy crap, I just realized my cousin used to scare the crap out of me as a kid with a variation of this very story. This rich lady had a golden arm and she was buried with it after she passed away. And some grave robbers came and stole it and now her corpse wonders, sometimes breaking into homes, moaning, Who's got my golden arm? Who's got my golden arm? We would be lying in bed in the dark and she would start chanting, Who's got my golden arm? Who's got my golden arm? <laughs> and I'd say, Stop, Nikki. And then she would tell me about the vampire living in our closet. Oh, what great fun we had together. Anyway, finally, the last image we are given in Upright is of a blue button-up shirt with shark-filled waves. Keep in mind that the name of the channel is a Game Shark Code, and we are playing a type of video game here. 01A51 CD0 invertedly tweets the word upright between two lines. Are we supposed to read between the lines somewhere? This hidden video, Anti Up, was in the middle of the upright video. Could two separate entities be in control of the channel? And could these Twitter accounts be clues as to who's posting what? And what does this whole Mother's Day event really mean anyways? This seems to add up to some sort of inner struggle. Let us not forget that 01A51CD0 is a Game Shark code to give your Pokemon struggle. Is someone being held somewhere underground? Could it be Lindsay? The only clue we have that points to that is the redacted photo. All other signs point that this other girl is someone else that they have their eye on for some reason not yet revealed. And what about these photos? There's a vibe of being buried and returning with the backseat ghost and the twice buried woman. Also, the picture of the child in bed. Is this supposed to represent someone's mother? Remember the Instagram photo of the toothless child. It had the Mother's Day date on the bottom. And finally, the image of the shirt. What is this all about? That is very soon to be revealed. On May 13th, the Instagram account posts a picture of a cow skull in the grass, and its description is a link leading to a second video on the Truthbeard channel called Buried Treasure. And the description holds 270 skull and crossbones by my count. I could be wrong, as my eyes are not what they used to be. Anyhow, here we have a brand new character introducing himself. Truthbeard the Pirate, no doubt a play on Bluebeard. And this pirate we see here holding his shovel once again, 
and wearing the blue shark shirt that we saw at the end of Upright. This time, if you turn the captions on, we get a break through the fourth wall. Yo ho ho, Truth Beard the pirate here. What's that? There's treasure, yarg. There's a storm brewing over ye heads, ye scurry dogs. And after a little digging, we've hit something, yarg. He uncovers a giraffe mask and stares down at it for a long time, studying it, analyzing it in a reflective manner. The word goodbye flashes over and over again in what seems to be a deliberate pattern. At first, I thought this was some kind of code. But the more I started trying to break it down, the more I realized it would just take too long and I would have never been able to get this video out to you when I wanted to. And so after saying goodbye, he walks off the scene with his newly found treasure. Does this mean somebody was buried and did not survive? Or could this perhaps have some sort of deeper meaning I'm just not seeing yet? On May 15th, the Instagram account posts a picture of a commode in some bushes. The caption here is waste. What is being gotten rid of? Maybe this girl did not survive after all and is now her body being got rid of. Nothing else happens on this day, but the next day, May 16th, 01, released Sovereign. The message informs us simply that their leader is their follower, and the description here is mutiny. That same day, the same image is posted both on the Instagram and the redacted Twitter account. It seems to be some kind of animal skull, with the eyes still in the sockets. The images shown here are first a horizontal split screen of some junk on a leaf-covered floor, one half inverted, the other half upright. Then we see a glass jar with what appears to have a monkey on it. This is shown when the word leader appears, just as the split screen shows the word hour. The next image is a set of steps leading up the base of a tree. The word is flies by at this point, and then we see a ladder continuing up the tree as the word follow dances on the screen for a second. Mutiny is in the air. They are trying to get us to help them to bring down the Sovereign. They say he is following them, perhaps on Twitter or Instagram, or both. A lot less people follow their Twitter account, so that may be a good place to start looking. Remember, Redacted follows them, and they follow Redacted. This seems like something we already know. If they are trying to say that the Redacted account is actually ran by the leader, and they, the mutineers, actually run the 01A51CD0 account, then maybe they are just trying to make things clear to us. But then after a few days, on May 20th, Zero One releases Serenity. We are shown many different images in this one. We see various stop motion animation clips here, but at one point we are shown what seems to be a man that has been injured in some sort of scuffle. The camera is blurry, but he seems to have blood all over his shirt as he rolls away from the camera, seemingly out of fear that his life may soon end. We see more animation and then another shot of a naked man lying on the floor, apparently as his life drains out. Then we are shown Peanut Bender, an animation from 1933 of a dancing singing monkey. This part, in particular, strikes the closest to home, personally. But I shall tell you more about that in just a moment. In the comments, Landlubber is written, and throughout the video there seems to be binary again, that this time reads to Truth Beard starting soon. Sure enough, this time the link in the description leads to the Truth Beard the Pirate channel, with a third video up. This one is called Behind the Scenes, spelled S-E-E-N-S. -E -E Conditioning spelt with two C's are in its description. No further clues here, but we see a woman wearing the bear mask from earlier, as the word goodbye is repeated for about eight minutes. The girl seems to be worn down by the repetitiveness of the phrase. This must be the girl we were so worried about earlier. She seems to be going through some sort of brainwashing technique. 
Now the thing about the monkey face we see, and why it strikes fear into my heart particularly, is because ever since I made my analysis videos last year on the subject, I have been harassed by what I at first thought to be copycats. Someone trying to gain my attention to make a video about their channel, trying to ride the fame of 01A51CD0. However, this channel, calling themselves Christina White, posted a video eight months ago with the same animation in it. Now that 01 has posted this, does this mean that the Christina White channel is also involved and not a copycat? We must remember that Christina White was the name the Sovereign used when he first contacted Anthony. We also see that the redacted account has changed the name once more to Truthbeard the Pirate. And a new tweet tells us, Yo ho ho, I have a new video up showing the behind the scenes of the show. Have A is misspelled. The A and E is off by a key as if injured or drunk typing. There is a link leading back to the behind the scenes brainwashing video. Finally, we see on the Instagram account the image of the monkey puppet and the link going back to Serenity. So far, this is all we have to go on. No doubt more will come before I get this to you, but at least we have this much documented and can pick up later on from here. I wanted to lay this evidence out before you all here tonight to help you further your investigations. Feel free to leave your hypothesis below in the comments. I would love to discuss with you your theories as to what is going on here. And don't forget, if you're not yet caught up, please feel free to watch my previous videos on the subject. Or if you like urban exploration videos, please check out my playlist. I will be adding more soon. Thank you for watching. I have been your host, Mask, and I certainly hope to see you again next time.